Many of you probably never used this strategy, maybe even never heard of it. Yet, this is a strategy that is very simple, easy to use, and profitable. This strategy can be used as an intraday scalping strategy, as well as a method for swing trading that spans over a longer period. The name of the strategy is Guppy Multiple Moving Average. This video will show step by step how to successfully set up this indicator in your trading platform and when to enter a trade for generating consistent profits. Along with it, we will also investigate the situations where this strategy can produce false signals and avoid such cases to reduce your loss. The Guppy Multiple Moving Average, or GMMA strategy was developed by Daryl Guppy, an Australian financial columnist and author. He introduced a concept in his book, Trading Tactics. This is a trend-following indicator that uses exponential moving averages, or EMAs, to identify changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a financial market. The Guppy indicator consists of 12 EMAs, which are divided into two groups. A short-term group of EMA, which are calculated using the closing prices of the previous 3, 5, 8, 10, 12, and 15 periods. And a long-term group of EMA, which are calculated using the closing prices of the previous 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 60 periods. The short-term EMA lines are also known as the trader's EMA, and the long-term EMA lines are known as the investor's EMA. Market traders are generally looking for short-term movements. That is represented by the short-term EMA lines in this indicator. On the other hand, the investor mindset is generally long-term, which is represented by the longer EMA lines. The EMA lengths, both in long and short terms, are not fixed. Depending on the market and time frame, the values can be different and set by the trader. As long as they follow the general range of EMA lengths in the short and long terms. Generating buy and sell signals with this indicator is fairly simple. Of course, you can take different factors into consideration to generate more accurate signals, which we will show in a bit. To generate a buy signal, when the short-term EMA lines, or the trader's EMA, crosses over the long-term EMA, or the investor's EMA, this indicates an uptrend in the price action and an opportunity for the buyers to enter the market. Once all short-term EMA lines crosses above the long-term EMA, then you can enter a buy order at the next bar. Similarly, a sell signal is generated when the trader's EMA crosses below the investor's EMA lines. This indicates the market is in a downtrend and there is an opportunity for shorts to enter the market. Similar to buy signal, once all short-term EMA crosses below the long-term EMA, you can enter the short trade at the next bar. Although this simple strategy works, we can further extend the buy and sell signal generation process with this indicator, which can produce more profits. There are situations where the short-term EMA is bounced back on the support level. In cases like these, you can see that one or few short-term EMA lines may touch or barely cross the long-term EMA, but then bounced in the other direction. This is an indication of the trade reversal and an opportunity for the buy signal. On the short side, you may also find cases where the short-term EMA hits the resistance and drops back under the long-term EMA lines. Such cases indicate a trade reversal and drop in price. This is an opportunity for a short entry. Although this sounds fairly simple and could be profitable, relying on these simple conditions may not be accurate every time. For example, there are cases on the chart where the short-term EMA lines and the long-term EMA lines are tangled with each other. This basically means that the market lacks a trend and it is hard to decide a direction on the price action. A great indicator of whether the price action in the market is strong or not is to look at the distance between the EMA lines in both long-term and short-term EMA. A wider gap between the EMA lines is an indication of the strength of the trend. If the EMA lines are squeezed together tightly, then the market is not experiencing a lot of volume and the strength of either the buy side or the sell side cannot be identified. As a trader, it is important to identify situations where trading is viable and when to stay away from trading. If the EMA lines are consolidated and the gaps between the EMA lines are not significant, it is safe to assume that the market is trying to find a trend and it is not the best time to enter the market. Wait until the guppy indicator shows a clear trend and then follow the trend to enter the market. 
Guppy indicator, or the GMMA indicator, is a very simple and easy to use indicator. It can be used to trade a variety of financial markets, including stocks, currencies, and commodities. It is a super helpful indicator to identify the trend and generate trading signals. But like any other indicator, Guppy indicator also has some disadvantages. This indicator can be lagging, meaning that it may not react to changes in the market as quickly. This can be a very useful indicator when the market is stable and the price action follows a consistent flow. Guppy can generate wrong signals if the market is very volatile and the price actions are sudden. However, multiple EMA lines give this indicator more strength than other indicators. More EMA lines is the hidden strength of this indicator. It adds stability to the indicator and the signals generated by this indicator are more reliable. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments section below if this strategy was helpful and if it is something you can use in your trading journey. Thank you for watching.